Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to rig a cartoon character with expressions and puppet pin tools in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and I will show you how to rig a character with expressions and using puppet pin tool. Let's first one look this solid background and select this head layer, go to solo and select this pen behind icon, move the anchor point down and click station tool on solo. So let's create new null object for expressions. Right mouse go to new and null object and let's move to here, press S, change scale and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon. Clisation tool, let's change scale more. Ok, and move to here. Then select this null object, control D for duplicate and change name null to. And move to here. Ok, and let's control D again. Move to here, next null object. Ok, and let's control D again, move to up, let's null object. So, right now select this head layer and go to puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here and one here, one here and last here. Clisation tool, select this head, let's change work area. And select this head, let's press U for see only puppet pin tools. Ok, and I will use this expression, also I will add this expression in the expression below, you can use. And let's select and copy with Ctrl C. And select this puppet pin 1. Let's hold Alt, click this sign icon. And Ctrl V. Then click this icon for go to up and we can see a new layer name let's select and delete right here or we can select here let's choose null one and for done expression click this empty area okay select this null object one let's see okay that's good so let's make some for puppet pin two hold alt click this time icon ctrl v Go to up and select null name, delete, select the null object 2 and double click here for done expression. Select null 2, let's see. Ok, and let's hold alt click time icon for puppet pin 3, ctrl v and go to up, select null layer name, delete, select null 3 and click here. Ok, select this null 3, let's see, ok, let's move to here, nice, and let's move to here this null 2 and null 3, move right, ok, and let's again hold alt, click time icon for puppet pin 4, ctrl v, go to up, and let's change name, select null 4, click this for dawn expression. Select null 4, let's see. Ok, and all null objects is down and we can make other links. So close head puppet pins and select this hand right and hand left. Let's link to head layer. And select hand right, go to solo and select pen behind. Move the anchor point up. Clisation tool and select hand left, go to solo. Select anchor point, move to up. Clisation tool and unsolo. Ok, so let's select this eyebrow and link to null object 4. Select null object 4, let's see. Ok, nice. And select this eye white, ctrl D for duplicate, select this eyeball, move the inside to eye white layer and go to toggle switch modes, change non to alpha matte eye white 2. So let's zoom in here. Right now I can move eyeball inside eye white layers like this. Ok, that's good. So select this eye white, link to eye white layer. And select this eyeball layer, eye white layer. 
link to null4. Select null4, let's see. Nice. Okay, so select this morph layer, link to null object 2. Select null object 2, let's see. Nice. Okay, we can make eating animation like this. It's very easy and fast rigging for this Photoshop character layers. Okay, so let's create new null object for control all these face elements. Right mouse, new and null object. And we have problem, but if I change null object name, we can fix this problem. Let's change face. Okay, so let's change scale and hold control, double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center, click station tool. Let's put here. Okay, and select this null object, select null 1, null 2, 3, 4, and link to face null object. Select face null object, let's see. Okay, nice. And right now we can make rotation like this. Okay, so let's select these hand layers, hand right and left. Let's link to face null object. Select face null object, press R, let's see. Nice. Okay, so in this time we can make animation, for example. Let's first select this face and go to here, press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. Chain rotation like this. And go to here, make new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or other way, click time duration. Write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes, click OK. And chain rotation minus 10. Okay, and let's go to here again. Make new rotation. Go 10 keyframes. Change zero. Select rotation keyframes. Make easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, let's change quality quarter. Nice. And go to here. Let's hold shape. Press P. Make new passing keyframe. And go to middle. Move the down a little bit, go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass. So that's three keyframes for bones animation. Select keyframes, make easies. Let's see. Nice. Select keyframes, copy and go to here, control V for paste. And let's go to here, select work area with N. Okay, so right now select these hand right and hand left layers, press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframes and let's change rotations like this and go to 10 keyframes, change again like this. Change zero. Okay, and Select two frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's move to left these two frames for more fast animations. Select all two frames, hold Alt, move to left. Okay. And in this time, let's make new rotation two frames for hand layers. And go to 10 two frames. Again, let's change rotations and go to 10 two frames change like this again 10 two frames change to back so this random two frames you can make your two frames auto like you and let's see okay nice and right now let's go to here and change like this let's change minus 10 and this 10, go to here, change 5, and this minus 5, and go to here, change 0, and this 0. Okay, so in this time, select this null object, select this null 1, 2, 3, 4, and press P, make new passing Q frames and go to next few frame let's for example select this null layer one 
and this move to here and this move to here and layer for move to right for character looking to right let's see nice let's select this null to move to right okay so select these first few frames let's move to left and this move to left and this and this let's see nice select two frames make easy this animation okay that's good and here let's make new two frames and go to here let's move to up this like this null object and here and here and here nice and next make new two frames for null object go to here and select first two frames copy paste for loop animation okay funny so in this time let's select this eyeball and let's press p make new parsing two frame and move to center like this and go to here let's move to right and let's make two frames and easy let's see okay and here make new two frame go to two two frames move to down and right now make new two frame for eyeball go to two two frames move to up okay again make new two frame go to two two frames move to like this and go to here make new passing two frame go to two two frames and select first two frame copy pass so for realistic eye blink, select this eye white, press S and open scale and click this icon, go to back and right now make scale 2 frame, go to 3 2 frames, for go to frame by frame 2 frames, use page down in keyboard 1, 2, 3 and change scale 5 and go to 3 2 frames, 1, 2, 3, change again 45, let's see nice select two frames make easy and copy eyeballing two frames go to here control v and here control v and here let's delete these two frames let's see nice okay not bad so also we can make expression for rigging these character foot layers with some techniques so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck